OMG, and do you believe it's been a year that I've been uploading these things to YouTube. Uh, I didn't count exactly how many videos. Today has been a phone day. I have closed my post office box. I'm sending my mail now to the street address, which worked like a charm. I actually went online on Saturday and said I would like the mail delivered Monday. And sure enough, as of Monday, I met my new or the regular post carrier who came to the door. I happened to have a certified letter. So he's like, okay, so you want me to send the mail, bring the mail to the house from the box? I said, yeah, sure. And as long as I'm home, I may as well call, yes, using the phone, everyone who I get the mail from to the P.O. box. And it's been quite an experience because I've been calling. Basically what I did was go through my file cabinet and what I came to like oil burner, car insurance, bank statements. I've been going through one by one and calling whatever number I can find to do that. So a couple of them I had no problem. Um, the electric service was like a charm. She was so fast, boom, 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 and she wanted a survey, of course. And who, somebody else was good. Um, the cable, the cable was very confusing because the I do Wi-Fi but not cable, and the woman had an accent I could not figure out has to be from an island somewhere. And she told me that my account was closed because she pulled up the phone number and the phone number is 35 years old. And she goes, see, this is all. I said, no, I don't have cable. I just have the Wi-Fi. So that was a little bit of a hassle. And the tax bill, they actually emailed me a form, which I have to fax back. So I have to basically send this form to someplace where I can print it out, and then fax it back. That's a little bit of a hassle, but that's okay. Then I have something from the U.S. Department of Agriculture having to do with my mortgage, which did not recognize my Social Security number because I believe it belongs, It's a jo it was a joint thing when we bought the house, and it doesn't recognize the primary social who's been dead since 2004. So I've been trying to call them, and I've been on hold and hold and finally gave up. Let's see, what else did I do? It's been like very interesting. Also, I have two bank accounts. One bank account fortunately has the street address, so I'm not worried about that. But the, the second one, they said, no, we have to mail you a form saying that you want the mail sent to the house. I said, well, can you mail, mail the form to the house? It's been interesting. I was going to go out this morning, but I've been on here like about three hours already, and I still haven't called um Call the car insurance. The car insurance was quick. That was good. Now the homeowner's insurance, I have to call a local number. It's been it's been rather interesting. And it's really sort of a, a fail-safe because they know me at the post office that I no longer am getting mail to the box. The carrier came up and said, I will pick out your mail and send it to, you know, bring it to the house. But this is just basically a to be certain that it's on on the the forms, unfortunately, I'm mailing all the bills back with a notice in it also saying this is no longer my address. Although it really is my address. So the service address is the same as the house. Am I talking a lot? Yeah, it's it's so interesting when you talk to customer service people because you get all kinds. Oh, and then I called the oil company and you could tell she wasn't usually talking to customers because she, she wasn't all smooth and have a nice day. But, but it was all fine, and it's going to be all fine, and I have a, a swell mailbox now, which I'm not going to tell to you, because you're not going to send me anything anyway. So this is Mrs. Chester saying happy anniversary to me, and enjoy the rest of your day.